Dear teachers, welcome to coaching session 14. Today we will see how to interpret the graphical questions which is given in TLS pedagogy sample paper. Before going into the question, I have a few tips for you. If you are well versed with the graphical representation and if you are confident to attend the question, then you go for it. But if you are not confident to attend the questions like this, even after reading several times, you just skip and go to the next questions and finish off. Come back to this kind of questions and then you will have enough time to attend because some of the questions like this needs little more time. For 80 questions, two hours will be given. So you have two minutes for each question. There are some easy questions if you are attending within a minute then you can save those minutes to use to interpret this kind of graphical questions. Now let us go to the question. We have three questions in this section. Number one, number two, number three. Pass these questions, try to answer one by one. So mark your questions in a separate paper. After that, we can check whether you have done correctly or not. Now we will go for an analysis of the question number one. The graph below illustrates the relationship between the student's stress level when doing a test and their performance in the test. Which of the following statement is most accurate about this relationship? Here, if you see the graph, Stress or anxiety is given in the x-axis and performance is given in the y-axis. So stress is growing from zero to infinity. So performance is also growing here, the axis. We'll see one by one the option, option A. The student's performance improves at the level, as the level of stress increases. So student's performance is increasing as the level of uh, uh, stress. Stress is increasing from zero to infinity so the level of the student's performance also should increase from here to here but then it is reaching to a level of increase and then it is drooping off so this is not the correct answer so next one is the student's performance students performs better when stress is within the normal limits we can see this option students performs better from low, the performance is improving, 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 and it goes for a, a higher level where the stress also increases. So this is the peak where the performance increases, where the stress is also at an average level. Here, the student performs better. Yes, of course, they perform better when the stress is in the normal limit. When the stress is low, they are able to perform very low. When the stress is high, they're performing very low. But when the stress is at the normal level, the performance level is high. So this is the correct answer. This could be the correct answer. So let us discuss other C and D, even though we have found out this to be closely related. Let us go for C. The student's performance decreases as the level of stress increases. The level of stress increases the student's performance decreases. Of course, this is very close to the correct answer, but you should have to understand that the student's performance didn't decrease at the first when the stress increased. The performance increased after a level of increase in the stress more than the normal limit when the stress increases, the performance level decreases. The student's performance decreased as the level of stress increases. Of course, it's correct. But in the beginning, the student's performance increased when the stress increased. Coming to D, the student's performs best when the stress is at its lowest level. The lower level of stress is here. Are they performing better? No. The performance is better only in this area where the stress is at the normal limits. So the answer for this question is B. Next we'll go to three. The graph below shows students progress against the performance level. 
the progress is in four category gifted students upper middle level students low middle level student students with special learning needs which category of students has made the most progress if you see this first i try to understand the graph relate this graph with the tabulation which is given here so which category of the students has made the most progress if you are not keenly observing and understanding the question you will stick with this uh, blue line where the gifted students because it is in the topmost place five but the question is about which category of the student has made the most progress okay category 1 2 3 4 so we'll see first one gifted students before going to that we will start from the option a students with special learning needs okay b gifted students c students at the lower middle level d students at the upper middle level let us see from option d students at the upper middle level students at the upper middle level the color is uh, orange color so it starts from 4 4.1 2 3 4 and it uh, stops at 4.8 it does not even touch 5 so next is students at the lower middle level c the color for this lower middle level is violet so it starts from 2.5 in between 2 to 3 roughly and then it is growing the progress is seen and and it becomes saturated at one place so it doesn't touch even 3 so it is also around 2.9 roughly now going to the gifted students what is the color for gifted students is a uh, blue color it starts from 5 it progresses and then it uh, touches around 5.4 it didn't even touch half so it can be around 5.5 or 5.4 now when you come to students with special le- uh, learning needs so that is green color it starts from 2 it reaches 2 2 then 2.3 or something and then it reaches 4 so from 1 to 3 it has jumped so the progress of the students is very much visible in case of special need and so the correct answer must be yes you are right it is a next we will go to the next question this is a kind of tricky question a teacher compared the performance of two of her classes b d on four study skills over three months of one semester so skill 1 2 3 4 you can relate 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 skill is 4 and over the month of three months september october november in class b september october november in class d what is the question which of the four skills improved consistently in both the class the question is not about which skill improved the question is which of the four skills improved consistently in both classes if there is an improvement in this class the same skill has to show an improvement in this class as well so let us see from a okay skill 3 skill 3 is of which color relate the color first of all skill 3 is yellow color yellow color so i see skill 3 it is starting from the from september you can see here and it gets low in october then in november it shows a little progress so there is no consistency here in this month in this skill 3 here if you see skill 3 same it starts from here little progress and there is a little progress here but then is it consistent in both the class no so this answer is not correct coming to skill 2 skill 2 go to skill 2 what color is skill 2 yes it is green color yes or no so this green color you go here 1 2 this both are in the same size there is no growth september and october in class b but in november there is a growth so you can see here coming to this one it's it is when you compare september and october 
uh, growth or the progress of skill two, a slight progress is there and there is a very good progress in November. But then there is no consistency in both the classes. Coming to skill four, what is color of the skill four? It is blue. So when you take here, it is starting from here. When you compare with October month, to September, there is a progress. From October to November, there is still a progress. So there is a progress, consistent progress here. So there is uh, no disturbance in the progress here. When you come to class D, blue color, skill four, again, you see here, it starts from here and it grows, again, it grows. You are not asked to compare the growth of this one to this one. You are asked to see whether the skill four is growing consistently. So skill four is the correct answer. But let us discuss on option D, skill one. Skill one is red color. If you see, it starts from here. When you see to October, when you compare, there is a progress. But still in November, it is not a progress. It is a disruption. Now, when you see in class D, it has growth from low and slight growth is there and again there is a growth of course there is a consistent growth in of skill one in class d but is there is this skill improved consistently in both the classes skill four has improved consistently in this class this class also four has to be increased but then from october to november there is a disturbance so we cannot consider the option D as the right answer. The right answer is option C. So here is the answer. Thank you.